guys. Before we get into anything else, yes. I got to ask you uh, two questions, which I I, 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 I got to ask people who work at CNN. Okay. The panels. What, you, you, you have an issue, and you have somebody who, who feels one way about it strongly, and another right. person who feels the exact opposite strongly. You, you say both of them have equal credibility, or else you wouldn't have them on. How do you not go insane? Because <laughs> you have to agree with one of them, um, right? Or disagree with one. You must have gone like, oh, shut up. Sometimes I feel like, well, sometimes if you watch us, right, it's like the, the triple box, right. and I'm just like watching ping pong, like, this back and forth and back and forth. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, if somebody says something so insane, you have to jump in and call them out. But sometimes you just want to let it breathe and let them, let them go. Mm -hmm. Right? And, I mean, then, it, and we at home are the ones that are like, insane. Yeah. Sorry about that. Second question. Sorry, not sorry. Second question. Yeah. Has Wolf Blitzer ever smiled? Oh. <laughs> he was at my wedding in May, Stephen, and he, yes. he is the biggest dancer. He, he loves a good He's smile. He's the biggest he is dancer? He's the biggest lady. He is the biggest dancer, like Lady Gaga. All, he knows all the words, you guys. Take my word for it. Are yes. there pictures of him dancing? Is there film of Dancing with Wolves? <laughs> there like probably is. This. There probably is. One of the things that, that you, you've just done is that uh, you were one of the first journalists uh, on the ground down in uh, uh, Mexico, Mexico Beach. Beach after Hurricane Michael. These yeah. are some of the images uh, that you got. Um, first of all, what is it? What, try to uh, tell us what the devastation is like sure. down there. Um, it's awful. It's awful. It's one thing to see it on TV in a, a town entirely leveled, but to be walking among the rubble. I think one of the most haunting things when you're there, and, and I met this guy, Scott Botwell, who was walking around sort of in circles, just dazed and exhausted, who'd ridden out the storm in Mexico Beach, and he's got this wet, dirty briefcase because he went back through what was his home and had to find something that, that was left to remind him of that piece of his life. And also among all the debris, there were these high-pitched beeping noises, which was smoke alarms and burglar detectors in, in, you well, think about, in the rubble but they have this independent in the rubble, power sources because they have batteries they're all them. but they're all dying it was this odd eerie sound which you know you think of them as foreboding forewarning a danger mm -hmm. and here this category four hurricane had rolled through and these are the last noises you hear at Mexico Beach. Are there people still left down there? There are people still down there. I mean, I think we're, we were just reporting today at CNN that the death toll is up now in Bay County to 12, so it's up nine today. Uh, a number of people did ride it out. Mm -hmm. A number. But there are a lot of people who are missing. They're like a lot of people aren't accounted for. Fewer there. people, thank goodness, are unaccounted for. But yeah, I mean, you, I've talked to people. We were the first crew to really go live down there, and uh, I had people say to me, "Yeah, I saw my my neighbor who we thought rode it out." The house is gone. Don't know where they are. So it was just so important to me to, to get there and tell their stories. You got in a little trouble uh, with the Twitter people recently because you said one of your guests uh, called Democratic protesters mob, right. a mob. And you said, we're not going to use the M word around here. It did. You got did. a lot of uh, flack for that. What, I, what happened? So uh, we had Matt Lewis on, who I love having on uh, from the Daily Beast, and he brought up the word mob. And, and at the time, the mob, the mob word had been this talking point from Republicans from mm -hmm. all up and down Capitol Hill in the wake of what had happened with, with Dr. Ford and Justice Kavanaugh. And so when he brought the mob word up again I, I call him I called him out and listen like I don't want to be the word police and that was not my intention but I also believe in calling out talking points and to hear him bring that up I had to I had to say something and honestly at the end of my day like I'm sure you ch check your Twitter too and if I have irked the left and the right then I've done my job well we have to take a little bit of a break we'll be right back with more Brooke Baldwin everybody